Uh oh! oh no. There will be sirens! Oh no, sirens! <laughs> <laughs> I promise after we're done! Oh no! Another sound effect! <laughs> my, my tire blew, as you can all hear! <laughs> oh no! Swerving! Oh! Oh, 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 criminy almighty, I've struck someone! <laughs> It doesn't appear to be human. Oh, yep, yeah, it's one of them aliens. <laughs> Definitely the most advanced extraterrestrial ever discovered. And it seems, it seems they still have a pulse. I should probably try to revive it. No, but Ghostfire Games is too important. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> no, but we're not making contact with intelligent life tonight because Ghostfire Games is too important. Back, back to you, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Over and over and out. Thank, thank you. <laughs> this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. <laughs> Sound like Thunder Mountain guy. Yep. Uh, wow. yep. Three what? pack. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Socks. Socks. Oh, socks. Oh, my God. socks machina. Yes, socks machina. Oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. We got. Well, we oh got my God. Mighty Nine socks. <laughs> We've got oh, guys. You know I love socks. I know. so much. <laughs> we have been waiting for oh, socks machina so forever. Critical Roll socks. I had the Nicodronus sweatpants and. Omar ate a hole in the pockets. <gasps> no. In the pockets? I was pocket? like, that was so mad. Well played. Yep. I think I've got I was like, you win this. Too hard. Probably These are so sick. sold out. You don't fucking get it, you piece of shit. Washington. These are so sold out. <laughs> I'd wear slosses throughout the night. But even the rest of you sleep not so soundly. Nightmarish imagery creeps at the outsides of whatever dreams may find you. And what about Three you? Now? Strip, strip, strip. Taint. <laughs> you look around Fred. his torso is like the, the coat's down. <laughs> Peony tip. <laughs> you don't see any additional eyes on your torso. Oh. <laughs> Check the legs. Uh, I pants myself, yeah. Nothing on the legs. Arms. You look at the left hand in the palm. Oh. You think Didn't I'd you see already? that first? Oh, that was so <laughs> unnecessary. <laughs> it's always a place you look last. I'm worried about the wing. <laughs> okay, I know it's somewhere. Don't tell me where. Yeah. Um. It's on the tip of my tongue. The important question, how's my hair? Still bald. Is Not there, a problem. There... I wave my hand and all of my hair comes back. There Perfect. Is it an illusion? Huh. What? I no, go... I am a powerful practitioner of that. Don't touch it! <laughs> Meathead! <laughs> uh, Meathead. It's there, it doesn't move. It's not a problem. It moves in the wind. Do the eyebrows look firmly in place or are they just kind of like wiggling? The where they're supposed to be. Put your eyebrows up. What happens? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. Oh, okay. Well, it came back. See? Wow. Uh -huh. Matt, can I cast silent image to make him look bald? <laughs> 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 if you'd like to. Well, how would that work if his illusion and my illusion are... I will have you guys roll off. I will counterspell you and burn all these slots. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I cast it. Go ahead and roll a d20 and add your intelligence modifier. Roll a d20 and add your charisma modifier. 19? Maybe a little further in, Six. I don't know. Six? <laughs> Some short rest, maybe? Okay. A nice attempt, but the illusion is too rest. strong. Your magic like is powerful. Alex. Old magic. I'll move my spell over to Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got a 17. <gasps> Roll uh -oh. percentile dice for me, please. Yes, sir. Oh, no. He reaches into his pouch, and Essek pulls out this small, dark, spherical pearl, and kind of holds it out in front towards your forehead. And you feel this familiar kind of sh a shunting of energy into your face that kind of warms through you, and uh, you have a moat of possibility. Be a fortune's oh, favor. Oh, shit. Thank you, Essek. Lacking in originality, but okay. Thank you. All right. I heard uh, that and I taught it to him. Oh. He's technically the OG. <laughs> Would you like um a really old cherry tart, Charlie? I may try one. Puts it in his mouth and you watch it just kind of like get gummed into oh. the jaw for a bit. Pieces are coming out. What do you think? Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird here. Ruined us. <laughs> <laughs> do you need assistance? Ladies, it looks like if you a... wouldn't mind. Yeah, let's go. Together? Yeah, one, two, two three. three. All right. Easy peasy. Athletics checks, both of you, please. She says as she rolls one. 19. Okay. Uh, okay. Hold on, hold on, I need my guidance. Where's my D4s? 23. 
Two. As the both of you approach to it, you push and push, and you see the hinge that got caught begins to ping and just snaps. Some sort of screw goes flying backward. You hear it dangling against. <laughs> That's loud. As the door shifts. Oh, that was yeah. loud. That was amazing, babe. I'm going to do you, a very slow Don't spin to see if anything reacted to that. Make perception check. What's that in the road? Uh, 27. Okay. There's like a snaky sound coming from over there. Slightly concerned about natural gases. Noting? Don't smell anything, do I? <laughs> no. Nothing like a natural gas leak. Organic or or mechanical, I suppose, would be this. It's hard to tell at this distance. You have to get closer. Okay. Don't fuck me, Gil. Natural 20! He did it! Okay. That was adorable. Thanks, Gil. Thanks, Gil. <laughs> that was so <laughs> 32? <laughs> this is a gentleman, that guilt. Um, 32. Yes. And you look up and you can see dozens and dozens of pieces of rock, chunks of stone, parts of street just floating and gently drifting, oh, locked shit. in place. No gravity. <laughs> that face, Marisha, is like the best. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. 15. 15. 15. Athletics? Mm -hmm. 13. <clears throat> there are some points where the rope begins to shift a bit, well, and you kind of catch yourself, <sighs> everyone checking in with each other. Instinctively, uh -huh. I, I grab for Ford's hair to try to hold on to something. <laughs> <laughs> Glides through. <laughs> stop, stop, stop it. <laughs> you know it's not there. <laughs> But as the adrenaline begins to subside, you. Ow. <laughs> they hurt me that time. <laughs> the D4 attacked me. After all these I years, they're finally learning to I rise up against really you. I really low, too. <laughs> Mom? You don't. I have my. I have Caleb's thing still. I could light. I could oh, use that's it. true. Yeah. It gives off a dull, warm glow in the space around you. <laughs> Stealth is 24. So you're making no noise as far as you're concerned, though. Hard to. Hide when you're clutching a glowing orb. 26. 26. <laughs> throw throw a, a cloth over it. So well, that's up to him to say. Nope. Or it's her. Right. I'm sorry. Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm get to the purple thing. You're not curious about what's around you right now? I'm extremely curious. I'm taking in everything I can, but I also understand that if one is to keep their nose in a tome, somebody else needs to be paying attention. I've also been around a lot longer than you have. I know how to curb these curiosities for the sake of what's directly ahead. I can sense a similar discomfort in some of your compatriots. Yes. Some things can wait. We've only touched the beginning of this. I can only assume that there is going to be many more intriguing mysteries played before us, but they are not what our goal is. If we survive all of this, then maybe we'll return, make a trip of it. I just worry. Psst. Hey, this place is creeping me the fuck out. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that we split up with our party, but we should probably go. Wrapping up. You heard the woman? Thank you, Yasha. You're welcome. I'll hold the rope. All right. Please. I'll hold the other end just in case. Also, Ford, hold on to my waist. Oh. Plant your feet. If okay. somebody goes flying down, you know, it's gonna give us a lot of force. Okay. Oh. All right. Hold, hold a little tighter. Oh. <laughs> Essek, well, as you hold the rope, Essek just kind of like gingerly places a hand on it and just Mary Poppins down. Well, sh off. For the next bit. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Yep. I was thinking it. <laughs> I'll go down first. Make an athletics check for me, please. Uh, five. You get about six feet down before the rope. And you'll glance up and can see it tearing its final thread before. Oh. It goes free and you go into free fall. <laughs> you watch as Caleb tumbles down towards the group a little ways free of you and just goes off the edge. Oh, there it goes. He's not holding onto the rope at all anymore. We're going to find out in a second. Make a strength saving throw for me, Caleb. Or I could turn into a sparrow. Also that, that too. Well, there you go, never mind. As you clutch onto the rope, <laughs> turns into a bird. Uh, Josh, do you need help getting down? No, you guys go on without me. I'm just going to stay. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Jump records. Jump, I'll catch you. It's all vinyl. 
Is it, how far, do, like, it's far. I wouldn't it's, be able to about, climb. It's about 30 feet down. You could try and climb down the rubble. It's a higher DC, but you can certainly try. Okay, I'll try to climb down the rubble. Oh, uh, that is a natural one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. I have other options. Oh, that, that rock is loose, that rock is loose. <laughs> you just begin to descend and you're grabbing some <laughs> sections of it. You're like, okay, I can do this. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, everybody. It, and as soon as you reach your foot down, you catch a ledge and you put your weight on it and it just crumbles. And as it crumbles, you hold on tightly and both of these come free. You are free falling. Use it. 20 feet. Use okay, it. I'll use 10 it. 10 feet. <laughs> Bamfa wings. <laughs> Much cooler than the sparrow. As cool as that was. The angelic Yasha coasts. Ooh. I'm adorable. You are adorable. You are more adorable than her. You time. are, it's true. Yasha. Can you fly all of us down to yeah. the next level? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be great. Oh, this is the last. One minute. One minute. So let's, One minute. Let's, let's, let's go, go. Let's, let's go. fucking go. go. One at a time. <laughs> I just jump on her. <laughs> come here, baby. Who else? Who else? Oh, oh, come, on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait. Uh, hey, Charlie, can you stop listening to us for a second? All right. Do you think it's smart to repair Charlie? No. Why would it not be smart to repair Charlie? He's the sweet, the sweet boy. Like in case... His brain comes back online, and he's like, like a, an evil he evils, and he's like, yeah, doubt for termination, any living creature, sure. Why but would could you be. assume any of that? He's Why? Like, he's what? like a helper. He's a Why helper bot. Why has his memory been affected every time we bring up anything with the Somnovum or the Cognoso order? That's not the only things that he's forgotten. Did you watch Raised by Wolves? Come on. <laughs> I'll also say, if there's a way to get his brain That's online great. before his feet. That's true. Ding, ding, ding. Hi. Hi. Hello. Can I listen now? Yes, you may. You see this tiny <laughs> little kind of holes in the sides of his head, unshielded. <laughs> Charlie, do you yeah, know how to make course. this thing work? I assume that it, and at which point the doors are start oh, closing oh. as you kind of back away and pull. The doors, scoof. <laughs> You hear this muffled, all right. I think this high pitched whirring sound. I'm gonna back behind it. Five minutes pass as these whirring sounds and heavy thuds and metallic clangs and buzzing of energy seems to emanate from the interior of the strange orb. You occasionally see it shift in place until eventually all the sound stops. The doors open as a kind of mist like smoke emerges from the inside. He's super hot. Now. Vision walk. Yeah, he's pretty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> a hand emerges and grabs the side. And standing up out of the sphere, tall, you see Charlie, cleaned, repaired. No visible damage or injury. I'm Devexian. Oh. Oh, oh. oh. De De Devexian. Oh. <laughs> and I'm yeah. grateful for your aid in restoring myself. Uh, uh, oh. What has transpired here. Oh, wow. Oh wow. Can we walk and talk? Let's walk and talk. <laughs> yeah, we're... <laughs> That's a uh -oh. lot for a walk and talk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> calm, yeah, yourself, we're, uh, calm yourself, Calm yourself. Come on, it's not a Minotaur, let's go. <laughs> I don't know, that voice. <laughs> the confidence. <laughs> I guess they found the experiment. Yes, they found. You, 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 you know about the, the, the some novum? Let's not pepper too many questions to the vaccine. He, he's, he's just been through a, 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 an ordeal. Do you want to sit down and maybe I could get you some something to eat or? I, or? What was the experiment? <laughs> you swallow he's, your thumb. He's stunned by your heart. <laughs> <laughs> forgive him. Or an extraordinary oh, machine. Oh, yes, the vaccine. He, uh, Ford is not a robot, despite his head. Uh, his, that's that's just, that was an unfortunate. <coughs> there were. <laughs> Stop interrupting. Get it out of your system now. The air seems to tingle, and some of your hair begins to drift, those who have it, sorry. Um, <laughs> begins to. Devexian, I guess Vex, Vex for short. I know we only just met, but I won't ever forget, forget you, and I know with confidence that you'll never forget me, and there's some comfort in that. She's horny. I gathered. 
Thank you. <laughs> and good luck. May you survive these trying times. <laughs> <laughs> Turns with a confused cock of the head. Does there anything that looks fucked up? Like it could have been fucked up from like Dunam Man's magic? Fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this whole city looks busted. pretty fucked up. I don't this know. This place is kind of busted, you guys. <laughs> I don't know. Give me my hair back. Did you step inside? Yeah. yeah. He did. Oh, oh it God. closes. What if he steps out and he's like, my name is Devexi. <laughs> <laughs> right there. There's, it, I can sense it. What are you pointing right? at? What are you pointing at? You can't hear anything. He's just, it is locked in silence. He's in one of those <laughs> those money tubes. <laughs> yeah. I love the old game shows. <laughs> oh, no. oh, God, this is some Spock shit. No. <laughs> Where once you just saw Ford standing in this you know, translucent glass, suddenly the whole thing lights like it's filled with neon purple light, and you just see oh, for pretty. a brief moment like the skeletal outline of Ford's body, oh. like it had just been irradiated to oh. an extreme extent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, the hair back now. The light begins to diminish. <laughs> <laughs> I have theories. Yeah. Uh, Just okay. mists in the inside. No. Oh. <laughs> the door opens. Hair's back. Oh. Should you have any interest or need, you can take considered a long rest. Oh. oh. Good to know. Oh. Interesting. It opens again. Okay. I thought it in there. I'm sorry, I was nervous. Oh, it's pretty rank. <laughs> Smell my doo doo man. Doo doo man. Oh, I stepped in dunamis. <laughs> <laughs> it's coarse and it gets everywhere. Oh um, God, no, please. Oh, you watch as it kind of drift over to the second, like damaged one. Looks closely at the purple gem, Caleb. Mm points at the gem. You glance over towards it, and as he touches the back of your head and kind of pushes your head close to it, and for a second you kind of resist as you glance in. The purple coloration begins to fade to the back, as instead you begin to see elements of space, drifting possibilities. It's almost like a, a weaker, smaller replica beacon. of a beacon embedded in the device right there. Essek puts his hand out and begins to concentrate his eyes, narrowing. As he does, you watch as the smooth, relatively untouched stone base of this glass tube device <laughs> begin to crack and crumble before you see it get pulled away and dragged onto the ground behind, scattering the glass, breaking, and as opposed to shattering around you, being shunted off to the backside of the wall, scattering on the ground. He controlled the direction of it all, smashing apart. Yeah. As it all scatters across the way, it's just the base now where it's cracked. And as it all falls away, he turns his hand up. And as he does, it's almost like a an invisible hand digging into clay and lifting through as it sifts past the fingers. You see this, the rock lift and then crumble. And there in the center, you see this diamond shaped gem of like faint dark purple coloration that was now, now released. And he kind of lifts it and drifts it over into your hand. Don't you think you should hold on to this? This too, isn't there? True. About a 11, 12 foot tall humanoid creature with like a brownish yellow leathery skin, elongated arms that almost drag across the ground that end in thin claws. You see a serpent like head that arcs over its shoulders, high up, and then across its body, dozens of small mouths. You saw one of these in a tube in one of the previous Aeor ruins. However, here, one has been unleashed. I need you all to roll in. Matt, can you spin him around so we can get another? I just want to see his little face. Oh boy. Oh boy. Quick, let's run. He's not looking at us. <laughs> Ooh, uh, look at all those mouths. Uh. Yep, on the chest and on the back. He's like the laughing hand with all those. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Wondering if there's yeah. any kind it's of weird. Like distant connection. Because Oban stole the heart, and then yeah. we had to go into the happy fun ball Where? to kill the perma heart so we could kill the laughing hand, if you recall. So 
could yeah. potentially, yeah. Yeah. And, and it tracked. Halas was a couple centuries off of this city, but that's only a couple centuries. So. Halas could have been fucking dive, like dumpster diving in Aeor. He could have been the first Aeorian dumpster diver. Yeah. Could be. I'm going to peek out from behind the, the thingy, and I'm going to hold my hand out and hope and pray and cast Polymorph on it. You go ahead and begin casting the spell, and one of the arms kind of reaches up towards you, as it does, the spell. Oh, Unravel. Oh, Good to know. Oh, no effect. Good. Sure, made by wizards. Yeah. Okay. Oh okay. boy. Crazy. And it's going to slash into you. Oh, Still in your range. <laughs> Stop it. Wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> Two claw attacks against you. Okay. 95 just barfed. <laughs> that is going to be an 18 to hit. Oh, just hits? And a 16 to hit. Doesn't hit. All right, so the first one hits you. One claw just ends up being a, much like the similar other creatures that you saw. As it strikes you, there's like an additional burst of force energy through its strike that like punctures the wounds even deeper. And you take, oh shit. <laughs> That's never good. I, I rolled. Two tens. That is, take twenty points of force damage. Whoa! That's uh, for that's that's that's. I just take all that. Yeah. Yeah. I just take yeah. it like a champ. Mm. Okay. And it's going to a <laughs> twenty points of good to know. Damage. Oh boy. Twenty-four points of piercing damage oh reduced to twelve. Okay. Oh. Sixteen points of force damage. Holy so shit! So that I take. Man. Okay. Yep. 14. As the teeth clamp down into you, and as they bite in, you feel like there's an extension to the the dagger-like teeth, carving deeper in. And for a brief second, you're afraid it might just take the top half of your body off of the bite before you manage to shove out of its jaw and elbow it backward. It's still holding you in place, but it's uh, That finishes its turn. That was 74 points of damage in one round. Mm. Bo, you're up. Holy shit. 16 points of force damage to it. Not great rolls, necessarily. And he's going to go ahead and step back this way to try and get out of that gnashing sound. Uh, that finishes his turn. That brings us to uh, Caleb with Veth on deck. I'm going to keep this simple because I do not want to blow. That should clear that up. Guys, what if that's a um. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. We just float down. Team, that's a 24 to hit. Check it out. 24 hits. That'd be great. Little campaign one callback. Yeah. 13 points of fire damage. Yeah. You got it. And. Uh, all of my spells are radiant necrotic, and anything that isn't that, he can cancel. So, <laughs> I'm gonna take out my wand of smiles, <laughs> and point it right at all his mouths, and I'm gonna use it. I mean, um, yeah, yeah, honestly, what if this does something crazy, though? <laughs> it's not- A shitload of mouths. Yeah. <laughs> hello, hello, Does have hello. advantage. Hello. What's the save, DC? <laughs> charisma, charisma. Does, does oh, it oh, it's a 10, a it's a 10. Ooh. Roll up. No. Sorry. <laughs> I know, I wanted idea. it to fail. I wanted it to fail. Oh, such I'll, say, a good idea. I'll say it hits, and you watch as like two of the mouths are like, <sighs> stop and go, <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> and the other mouths go, <sighs> and it goes, <laughs> <laughs> no effect. What are you doing? I'm sorry. Oh, Francis, you're the worst. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that mouth. <laughs> All right, so that's your action. Do you want to move? Um, Fuck up, Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh, I don't want to get too God, far. I'm gonna Rick. two fucking thousand years. like creep around. I'm gonna like move around the rubble to come to more to the front of the room, like toward the exit. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep making my making my way. Looks like somebody woke um, up on the wrong side of the nipple today. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see over the you rubble know. to the monster? Or does it kill it? Reckless. Oh. Guys, I just hey. now you fucking terrified me. <laughs> <laughs> As it's starting to take the hits, it's going to attempt to just go all in on you, Yasha. You're the one who's drawn its attention. Uh, when you have Sentinel, if they hit somebody else, can't you hit them? Plus 11 points Unless of force damage. Unless the other person also so has, has Sentinel. Yeah. That's the only That's bitch the of this. Nine points of slashing damage reduced to four. <laughs> We're too alike. Plus 10 points of force damage. Just too toxic. <laughs> you just can't. And the bite strike is trying to pull your, like a whole section of your throat and chest out. It sinks Jesus. in and tries to tear back, pulling part of your ribcage with it. It's hoping. Oh my god. Uh, 
jokes on that thing. You got she doesn't rib. have a rib. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. There was a lot of them. Dolly Parton got rid of a few. Surgically removed. 16 <laughs> points. Her finger. 16 points of piercing damage reduced to eight. Oh. Okay. Just snatch that waist. <laughs> I'm so scared. And 18 points of force damage. Oh, How you doing? Well, let's see here. Uh, a little rough. I mean, not awful, She's but a tank. Fine. You know, we're we're in the forties. We're right. Okay. Okay. We got a rejuvenation machine like ten feet away. She'll be fine. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Enraged by hearing my girlfriend let out a blood curdling scream and watching <laughs> Hell Yeah Man. Of course, we're doing oh PDA. It's like a thing. Wait, advantage and it's advantage and a D four right Advantage and an extra D four. So um. <laughs> Uh, a pop pop, um, <laughs> just pop, pop, digging pop, pop, into pop, pop, this guy. Pop, 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 Probably shouldn't do this when you're standing in front of the creature. Twenty four plus a D four, twenty five for the good. first hit. That hits. Forty five points of slashing damage. How do you want to do this? Oh, there it is. I'll reach over and see Yasha all fucked up on one hand, and I'll just cut it off at the wrist. And then I'll flip the blade back so it's pointing towards my oven. I'll stick it in its navel and then just ride it up the middle. It just spreads its innards outward. Uh, Bo, you would be in the splash zone, but your crazy monk can just sidestep it as it goes across the dirt rock in bits before it slumps onto the ground. Wait, do you want to check that rug real quick? I'm going. Caleb! Check it! It's not a magic. <laughs> Why was it not for a reason? <laughs> it's not for a reason! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have another creature unless let's we go, let's right go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Grab the rug. <laughs> grab the rug and go. I said, grab that bitch. <laughs> Just throw it off the side and we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so with that banishment held, you all. How many can we feather fall and how many can we. All of us? Take with. Yeah, then let's. Do it. Feather fall jump. close to the edge and just you go. You can do all Like everybody at the I edge. You have. Yeah. You have. I don't have it prepared. <laughs> well, I can do five, I think. I can fly. I can fly. Yep. And he can float, so we're oh, good. One, two, three, four, five. We're good. Sweet, let's go. Go. Five. No! I'm Don't myself. Don't ah! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Sprinkle! <laughs> <laughs> As your feather fall kicks in, the two of you begin to shh, take off on your flight and uh, watch as Essek begins to float down as well, kind of keeping pace. I zip past yeah, I, Essek I, I, and I, just showboat just a little bit. <laughs> Essek has to fly on himself and begins to showboat as well. Oh, showboat. I'm over to Beth and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, oh, Ford, and Essek just kind of. <laughs> Flying around the slowly falling, uncontrolled mass of the rest of the Mighty Nine. A little water ballet. Don't mind us. Descending down deeper and deeper into the darkness of the remains of the Genesis Ward. And that's where we're going to end tonight's Ooh. episode. Wait, so look, we haven't even hit ground? Nope. No, we fly. <laughs> we fly. We're going to deal with that beginning of next session. Uh -huh. so.